I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll understand the strategy of solving questions involving combinations. The question here is in how many ways can a committee with at least one member be appointed from a board with three members. Now what we are given here is that there are three members in a board. Let us say the members are A, B and C and we need to find how many committees can be formed with these three members with at least one, with at least one member in each, right? So that is the equation. Now we'll follow two different strategies, mainly to develop a formula also with the help of this example. Now let's say that the committee has only one member, right? So if there's only one member, then the combinations could be, uh, one member could be A, B or C, is that okay? If we take two at a time in a committee, then the combinations could be A with go with B, right? Now, B and A and A, B is one of the same thing, and that's why it's case of combination, right? Or A could go with C, and then we could have B and C, B and C. Now, the other option is, case three for us is that there's a committee of three members, so that means A, B, and C, right? All three. So if you now count one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, seven. So how many ways? So we say the number of ways is seven, right? So number of ways is equals to seven. So that is one way of doing it. Now, I have purposely taken just three members. Imagine if we have 10 or 12, then this method will be very time consuming. Now, what else we can do to quickly get to the solution that is what we're trying to understand now in this particular case what you notice is that the total number of combinations have to be given from three distinct members now these members when they form a group then you know their combinations should be treated separately now, what do you notice? Now, let us try to understand another way of doing the same question so that we can solve similar questions where the number of members in the committee are large, right? So that will make this process very tedious. Now, the alternate method is kind of like this. Let's again begin with uh, the three members A, B, C, right? So we again have these three members A, B, C. Now, what you can have in a committee is the option that either you select A or you do not select A, right? So we select A or we do not select A. Similarly, for member B, there are two options. Either we select or we do not select. Similarly, for C, either we select or we do not select. Do you get an idea? So I am putting this check marks and these crosses for select or not select. So basically, what we realize here is that selecting or not selecting will give us two options for A, two options for B, and two options for C. So when we are trying to find how many ways, then using the fundamental principle, they get multiplied, right? So once you multiply them, so that is to say, we do two times two times two, we get eight. Or you can say two cube, right? So we get eight as our answer. Clearly, this is not the correct answer, right? The correct answer is seven. If we just did it, right? Now, what is the correction you need to look for? Let's read the question once again. It says, in how many ways can a committee with at least one member be appointed from a board with three members? Now, 
here you find one option that if you do not select A and if you do not select B and you do not select C then that means there is one option where you are not selecting any member right so you have to take away that particular set right so there is a combination so there is a combination where none is selected so the idea is these are total number of combinations so these are I should write total combinations right so in our case at least one when we say at least one should be selected then the answer should be 8 minus 1 since there is one combination where none is selected and so we get our answer as 7 you get an idea so in general what we can say that the total number of combinations containing at least so we can now uh, write this as that the total number of combinations when at least one is chosen or selected from a group of n these should be distinct no repetition right n distinct objects is 2 to the power of n minus 1 right so in this case since there were three members the answer is 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 right so so I hope you understand now let me just let's kind of here now okay. so that is the kind of rule which we have understood from this particular example so in our case if there are three members in the committee and we need to select with at least one member then the answer is 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 which is 7 so that's a quick way of finding answer for such questions I hope with this you understand how to solve such cases where we have distinct objects and at least one has to be selected to form different groups. I'm Anil Kumar and we'll take a few more examples to elaborate on this. Thank you and all the best.